Hello, YouTube. Hello to all of my leapers. Salam and good health and fortune and long life to all of you guys. I have three special guests today on the sound live. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun, guys. I got Kyle Walls, my Monday guy. Hey, hey. Kyle is a singer, songwriter, guitar player, and uh, why don't you tell everybody about your latest musical endeavors? Sure. Uh, 2020, I started taking YouTube serious, and with everybody being at home, um, was working on an album coming out this year of 2021. So I made music videos for every song of my album that came out of in February of this year. Album's called Blood Candy. There are 12 songs on there. I think it's 12. It might be 11. Uh, but you can catch music videos for every song, and you can stream it on Spotify or anywhere you like to get your music. So that, that's some cool stuff. Yeah, and if you want to buy it, just like um, just like Eleanor Goldfield says, you know, definitely you can preview it on whatever streaming platform. But um, if you can, what's your preferred platform for people to get your music so you get the, the, the most money? Um, probably uh, CD Baby or, or going through me directly. And if you go to CD, uh, yeah, KyleWalls.com, or if you go to CD Baby and uh, search Kyle Walls too, that that'll work. Excellent. And I have one of my usual Tuesday people invading Monday this week. <laughs> I have Jennifer Valiquette. Jennifer is a saxophone player, a flute player, and an all-around cool music teacher. Jennifer's Thank been you. joining me for a long time since I've been having collaborations and lives. Jennifer, why don't you tell everybody what you're up to right now? Uh, sure. Um, well, right now I'm just trying to think of some new songs to record. Uh uh, not originals yet or anything. I'm working on that, but um, yeah. And then doing my usual saxophone choir things, which takes some time. So <laughs> well, that's cool. Just having fun mostly. <laughs> yeah. One thing I'm really starting to work on more is um, Patreon. Like I've been doing Patreon videos like once a month, and it's basically just been the the um, you know flowering creativity bonus content. But I'm now starting to put a Patreon video each week yeah. it's a real challenge for me but um you know i i feel like that's the thing to do so um you know keep going with that um yeah and, yeah definitely and I've also been... joining me today i have evelyn holland rock musician singer and guitar player what are you up to uh right now uh i mean i'm continuing work on that third record that i've talked about before and uh i got band practice this evening so that's what's on my agenda. Cool. Always good to have band practice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're looking at shows in September. I think I might've said that that's last cool. time possibly, but yeah, we're probably not going to play in Portland. Uh, probably Salem to give it a, like a, like just like a, for a test or test the waters, whatever. Right on. My brother-in-law, Spencer, coolest guy in the world. He freaking would love to come on the show and do this with us, but you know, he's he's out um doing the, this the slave into the grind for the man thing right now. Love him for it. So um, he wants to he wants this song reacted to. I've never heard it before. I've never heard this band before. This is a first time reaction for me, and this is his request. So we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do for my pick, I'm gonna do my brother in law's pick this week because I say why not? I mean cool. I, I wanna check this out. Um and I really don't even know what to expect. Um, so the person, the people to ask would be Eve or Kyle. Have have either of you two heard of Baby Metal? Have you listened to them before? Uh, I, I'm familiar. Uh, I can't say I'm a fan. I, I think it's uh, it's quite cheesy, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. What about you, Kyle? I I have not heard them. It's they are on my list to check out. Uh, some Love Bites fans said hey if, if you like this and then um mm -hmm. a scandal baby they said if, if you like these bands please check out baby metal so yeah i haven't heard them yet but yeah on my list to check out so i'm glad that you picked it yeah that's how i felt about Faye. please everybody 
Give me some thumbs up. Let's get some more people in here. Share the stream out. This is a party, man. We're having lots of good times here. Heck yeah. We're all ready to go, right? Everybody's ready? I'm ready, yeah. yep. All right. So, without further ado, Musicians Panel reacts to Baby Metal. Give me chocolate. Official video. Here we go. Which is not an uncommon thing on the sound. That uh, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> I know you love that. It's that's like... not a, that's not uncommon. It's okay. It's okay. You know, you guys, you guys go ahead and say 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 your feelings because you know I'm gonna do more. I liked it enough that it's gonna come back. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Right? It wasn't like there's some kind of like bad first impression of baby metal with that. That was fun. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go first here. I thought it was fun. It was cute. It was like really super like dark and thrashy. And then like the keyboard comes in and it was like sort of like 
tech poppy, like almost not like dubstep because that's slow, but like <laughs> like this weird like the you know like terrorcore, right? Yeah, as crazy synth sound comes in on top of it. I'm like, okay, that's weird. And then the vocals come in, and they're like bright and thin and poppy. And they, the girls kind of sounded similar to each other, at least to me. Uh, I'm, I'm no expert on them. I think it says first time I ever heard them. But at least at the beginning, like when the, when the two girls were going back and forth, like they sounded like very, very similar to me. And then the little chorusy thing comes in, and I like the harmony on it. It was cool. It wasn't just standard one, four, five chord changes. You know, the the bass was ascending in half steps at points, and it just sounded good to me. I don't know. It it was a breath of fresh air. I never heard anything like that before. Sure, it's a studio track. Okay, I get that. I was evaluating it as a studio track. So I'll I'll check them out live. I already saw in the comment people were suggesting to check out um, concert footage. Uh, live baby metal is much better. So. Uh, I thought they were very cool, very together. Um, it's not my style, though. I mean, I, I just, you know, <laughs> just not my style. But I really liked how they were together. Um, like you said, the keys and everything else. Um, and it was, parts of it were really cute and everything. And, I mean, yeah, all in all, it was okay. I, I just, not really my style, but not not to <laughs> sure. knock them. I, I just think, I think they're, you know, they're probably really good. It's just, you know, not my thing. <laughs> yeah, we're doing this this crazy variety show on here, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Some people are gonna like some stuff and not like others, you know. Like I this mean, they're, is completely yeah. different from what we just reacted to. They're very talented. I hey, mean, they hey, are very talented. <laughs> I would say that I uh, I definitely sounded pretentious right before the the uh, uh, video started. <laughs> so any any people watching out there, yeah, I'm admitting my pretension. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I, I mean the, the video at like the, actually I thought the video like the a video uh, the videography rather what fit the song so that I thought that was very fitting for the music even though I wasn't uh, a particular fan of the the music yeah it's like eh, it's just not my style yeah. and. Uh, yeah, it's just, it was it was a bit too poppy for me, but it was well done. Even even then, I mean, the J-pop uh, heavy metal mix, it was the elements weren't they didn't they didn't sound forced next to each other. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was fun. Like that's how that's what I would put it. Like, like I it wasn't like serious music to me like and i'm not saying like i'm making fun of it or anything i liked it but it was like to me it was more like for metal anyway it was on the fun side of metal as opposed to you know the serious side of metal if that makes sense right. um and it, it, it was cute i mean you know <laughs> it, they're cute girls dancing around in their tiny little mini skirts i mean what's not to like about that well, see, yeah. when, when you see something like this, speaking of cute, you got to say it in the Japanese, we, we have a way. You got to say, that is so kawaii. And you got to <laughs> have this exclamation. Yeah, um, I was thinking of a lot of my students. Um, I could play something like this in class and the kids into anime, into AMV, nightcore kind of stuff. They're going to go, we have our hearts. We, we hear you. And then the other kids that like grew up on like, their parents playing ACDC or like Radiohead, they're going to go, this sounds weird. I don't get it. Is this techno? You know, they're going <laughs> to, they're going <laughs> to get, get so confused. Um, but to me, this is uh, kind of the fun part of some Japanese music is how niche it is. And, you know, I, I could hear this is like an anime closing song when the credits are running right before they have the little scene that tell, tells you what's going to happen in the next episode, something kind of like that. Definitely. But this is completely weabo checkboxes. And, and, you know, none of you, if you don't know what I just said, then you're going, I, I don't know. Um, something I don't under, know. You know? <laughs> 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 well, like, hey, for, for people, see if anyone in a chat, weabo. So see if anybody watching, because if you like that song, there's a possibility. Um, I was going to say something unrelated to any of the like, kind of cultural aspects of it. It reminded me a little bit of, um, I mentioned Terrorcore as uh, Matthew was talking, the band in the 90s, Atari Teenage Riot. 
And kind of like when EDM uh, broke and we started to hear some of the um, uh, terror trance and gabber stuff coming from Amsterdam. And then the the German take on that. And I actually looked up as I was hearing that song because that almost sounded like a Slayer sample yeah. on some of the guitar riff. Some, some it wasn't. Of, it not wasn't. a sample. Like uh, the style was a little bit a little bit thrashy at the beginning and, and yeah. that, that was why when the techno e keyboard came in it sort of baffled me a little bit yeah, yeah. Uh, this is gonna piss off all the metalheads that are listening out here <laughs> uh, but I, I mean they did they did tour with slayer cool yeah well and, and maybe they did i i gave a quick look to uh you know samples used in gimme chocolate and I, I didn't find a whole lot but um because to me the the first band that I recall sampling Slayer. Uh, it was KMFDM. Uh, yeah. They did back in like '91 or, or something like that. And I remember being at a club and hearing uh, "Godlike" drop. And if, if you guys haven't heard that song, um, j- check out the "Godlike" remix. It is just—it's stupid awesome to to think that that came out like in '91 or something. You know? Cool. I, I'm familiar with KMFDM, but I'm not familiar with that particular song i'll have to go back and listen oh, yeah. to it well and, and if you are uh, like an old school slayer fan as soon as you hear that song you're like oh this is cool i mean it's one of those yeah. things that is it's so much fun you know right on excellent i really really appreciate you guys for being here watching tuning into the sound hashtag the sound i'm going to talk to you guys all in just a minute so stick around for some good chat time with me today i've had an incredible panel of guests starting with jennifer's music page make sure you check out jennifer's music page go and subscribe jennifer plays saxophone and flute she's a music teacher you can get lessons from her on zoom she's really cool so make sure you check out jennifer's music page definitely we have the monday man kyle walls (laughs) kyle's a singer songwriter guitar player and he's got music uh up on all the streaming platforms um you can check him out please buy from his website kylewalls.com and uh, check him out on instagram at our kyle walls <laughs> hook i'll add you i'll add you on instagram kyle all right <laughs> yeah and last but not least we have evelyn Holland, singer songwriter and guitar player pretty soon we're going to be checking her out in a new uh new band situation here and we're going to be giving you updates as we go so everybody please make sure you take a second and give me a thumbs up if you think that you uh, you got any value out of this today at all if you were entertained for one freaking minute give me a thumbs up i deserve it yes i do i deserve it yes <laughs> you also please mash that subscribe button like oh, i said at wait, the beginning wait. i still have 80 percent unsubscribe viewership so if you subscribe you'll help to lower that keep watching and we got hashtag the sound coming to you live twice a week so everybody make sure you check me out on patreon patreon.com slash matthews music lesson studio where you can support the channel and get new weekly bonus content i'm putting in a leap collab up i've got bonus content from my podcast i'm gonna put bonus reacts up i'm gonna put um covers bonus covers all kinds of stuff one video every single week on patreon and of course check me out on matthewsmusiclessonstudio.com for your lessons where you get to record them and keep them forever thank you everybody for being with me on the sound live (laughs) 